Another important thing is that when cloud providers are ap providing applications, you have data and applications. Both needs to be protected. Now you have GRC, typical GRC stuff that has to be taken care of, as well as identity and access control. But then look at also the perimeter defense, because you have to ensure that things like content attack prevention is present, some kind of secure API management is there, and some kind of um, API threats can be mitigated. But you can secure your application, the service providers, the cloud providers can secure it like a fortress, but the weakest link remains the client, because if you don't know if the request is coming from a trusted client, then you can, a malware can be sending a request and you're taking it, accepting it, and processing it. You want to prevent that. So holistically, you want to look at the client to the cloud security. And how do you make sure that attested clients can interact with trusted cloud providers? So um, some of the use cases that this group has uh, come out with is end user to the cloud, which is a typical consumer going and trying to access Salesforce or Google accounts. Then you have enterprise to cloud to end user, which is you have a set of applications, cloud applications that are both accessed by end users as well as by the enterprises, and both have different security needs and trust models. So how do you ensure that you get the relevant uh, security? And finally, you have the enterprise to the cloud where you want to leverage your internal IT capabilities, your internal identity management systems and provisioning systems that you have set up to extend it to the cloud. So some of the patterns that we, this group has come out with is, uh, you know, all this is available on the website, but uh, you see that the, one of the deliverables of this group is also to come out with security patterns that are reusable, and one of the patterns is listed here. So it's not working in isolation, this group is looking at different standards. Security framework, standard of ISO 27002, the legislative frameworks, PCI SOX, as well as audit frameworks like COBIT. And looking at all these different controls holistically and coming up with the metrics, uh, what we call it as a CSA control matrix. It is a 100-point spreadsheet that you can look into to get into details. Now, this controls matrix is then meshed with all the different best practice architectures that companies have been using, things like SAPSA for business architecture, ITIL for service management, Jericho for security architecture, and TOGAF for IT reference architecture. So it is trying to get the best of the best practices from each of these architecture, mapping it to the controls matrix, and then coming out with the reference model. So what you see is that at the end of it, you will have a, a reference architecture that you can use to assess an opportunity. So if a project comes, if an opportunity comes into your organization to adopt the cloud, then you can take this reference architecture and assess what are the things that I need to look for in a cloud provider. Or how do I get there? So that's the roadmap. How do you do the capability mapping of a particular cloud provider with the, with the reference architecture that is provided by this group, and then come out with use cases, and then use the security patterns that are generated by this group to implement and accomplish it? So um, looking ahead, there's going to be delivery, delivery of service catalogs in this um, calendar year, as well as um, alignment with other Cloud Security Alliance working groups, such as the new SaaS working group, CMM, and the CIQ. Um, aligning with external organizations, as 
uh, NIST, NISA, and Open Security Architecture are coming out with some uh, uh, documents. So we are trying to not work just in isolation, as I said, trying to look at all these different things that are happening in the industry and try to come out with a reference architecture that is best of the breed. Um, and then in the future, look at cross-architecture policy-driven orchestration and come out with uh, security patterns that takes care of AAA, uh, which is authentication, authorization, auditability, key management, and security monitoring. So um, I highly encourage to join this working group. And uh, you, it's a LinkedIn group that you can join um, and participate and contribute. Um, and one of the reference implementations that Intel has done for 